Verse 23. For the sons of Ammon and Moab rose up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, destroying them completely. When they had finished with the inhabitants of Seir, they helped to destroy each other. Whoa. They got so confused by the praise, they started fighting each other. They figured these people can't be against us. It must be a trick by the other army. Something's going on. They have a, they have a band. They hired a band. What's going on? They started attacking them. See, the nature of evil is to self-destruct in the end. doesn't look like that in the moment. But then it looks like it's going to destroy good. But the nature of evil is to self-destruct. The nature of your problem is to self-destruct in the end. The answer is already going to happen. See, God is faithful. The, the victory is guaranteed. You just got to hold that. You just got to keep going. Persevere in God. Don't give up. Because it's gonna, you're going to win. It's, the victory is coming. We fight a fought battle. We fight a won battle. In Hebrew, the word for per, when you use the, the tense for perfect, there's a perfect tense and an imperfect tense. The perfect tense is used to denote past. There's no real past. It's just perfect or imperfect. Perfect means it's completed. It can be, it can be something that's in the future is completed in God. I don't know how that happens, but he can do that. Something right now is already completed. We are to live in the perfect, not in the imperfect. To live in the imperfect, everything, nothing's ever done. It's always unfinished. On this, on this, I'm always going to. But in the perfect, God says it is finished. We live in a perfect work. Therefore, when you fight, you fight a battle that is already won. You must fight as you are fighting a already won battle. Not fighting an unwon battle, because it's God who does it. But we are called to fight. We are called to work and to do, are we not? We are called to do, but whose work? God's work, not us. Not us trying to do God's work, but us doing in God's doing already. Us doing in the finished work. When we love, when you love from God, He's already loved before you. He's already loved that person. You're just getting on the train. You're just surfing. You're getting into that thing. You are loving a love that's already loved. When you do something, so when you have to have victory in God, you don't walk your own walk, you walk God's walk. When you fight your battles, remember, it's God fighting, and you are already, your fighting is already fighting a already won battle. Do it like that. Fight as if you are already fighting a battle that is already fought. And you'll win. 